Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you my May reading wrap up and my June TBR. I'm going to try to mood read this month. I don't want to have a strict TBR. So. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> In May, I read five and a half books. I am currently still on the sixth book that I'm reading. Um, it's Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. I'm a little more than halfway done and I am enjoying it. It's a nice summer read but I have kind of like grown out of Colleen Hoover and I'm in a big Emily Henry and Christina Lauren phase right now, especially Emily Henry, I love her writing. So starting off in May, I read Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. It's the third book in the Twisted series. There's Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and Twisted Lies. So now I only have Twisted Lies left, but I'm gonna wait a little bit before reading that. I have a lot of books on my TBR right now and I'm not really in the mood for reading like a dark romance right now. And and these books are very spicy. I'm kind of like not in the mood for that right now. But Twisted Hate, I enjoyed. I think I rated it four stars, I believe. What are the names? Sorry, I forgot the characters' names, but it was enemies to lovers between Josh and Jules. Josh was, I think, Ava's brother. I think that was her name, Ava. Um, and Jules was Ava's best friend. Josh and Jules always hated each other, so there was like a lot of like fighting. They hated each other, but then they ended up working in the same hospital. There was like forced proximity. I don't really remember fully <laughs> because this book was like 500 pages or more and I read it a month ago, so I don't really remember. But yeah, I remember liking it but I feel like it was a little too long. It could have ended at like 350 pages. I think my favorite book in the Twisted series was Twisted Games. I like those characters better. I had to pull up my Goodreads because I don't really remember what I thought of it fully. Um, but I rated it a 4.25 um, because my taste has changed and it wasn't my favorite. I also wrote, I read this when I was in my thriller era and it was a bit hard for me in the beginning. This was a slow burn romance and it's a thicky book. I think it started getting spicy around 200 pages into the book from what I remember. I read this book pretty fast, like in six days, so that's decent for like a 500 plus page book. I guess I did really enjoy it. I don't know. So yeah, let's move on to the next book. The next book I read was Love in Other Words. That book, I literally loved it so much. This was my second Christina Lauren book that I read. Um. Clearly I loved it because I annotated it and I feel like that's rare for me. I don't really annotate unless I really like the book. This book made me cry. So if you don't really want to cry while reading a book, don't read this. I'm also a little emotional, so maybe don't listen to me, but this was really sad in my opinion. This book is about Macy and Elliot. It's a second chance romance from when they were little. They met when they were younger by being neighbors and then she moved away when she was 18 and they never spoke again until now and they're like finding out like what happens. It's honestly kind of like traumatic. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. Um, it is very fast paced though. I love Christina Lauren's writing. I read this in a day and a half so it was really fast for me. I loved Macy and Elliot together. They were so cute and their love story was adorable. I definitely recommend reading this book if you haven't already. I know it's been out for a little bit. I've had this for a while but it took me like a year to read it and I'm very glad I did. I love this book and I gave it five stars. The next book I read was Beach Read by Emily Henry. This was my first Emily Henry book that I've read and I honestly really loved it. This book was about Gus in January. They are both authors. They were rivals in college and they both end up living next to each other in a beach house. I really loved Emily Henry's writing in this. It was more like literary fiction, so don't go into it thinking it's a romance fully. It's definitely not like a rom-com or anything. January and Gus are both going through things that they slowly open up to each other about. I really love this book so much. Like, it was kind of sad at some points, but I love that it was deeper than a romance and showed, like, their struggles. I love their love story, and I loved all the characters in this book, so I rated it a five stars. I definitely recommend this book also. It's definitely summer vibes. It's a very easy read, and it's pretty fast-paced, in my opinion, so I definitely recommend. The next book I read was The Summer I Turned Pretty. Obviously, this book has been out for, like, a really long time. I think since, like, 2009 or something. They recently just came out with a show on Amazon Prime Video. I haven't watched the show yet because I've been waiting to read the book. I finally read the first book out of three. Belly was honestly kind of annoying to me, but I really enjoyed reading this though. It was a quick read for me, very fast paced. I love the beachy vibes of this book. It was definitely an easy read. I thought it was super cute and I can't wait to read the rest of the series. I rated it a four out of five. And then, the moment you've all been waiting for, Happy Place by Emily Henry. This book, this book like 
killed me. This book made me so sad. I really enjoyed this book. It was about Wynne and Harriet. They were engaged, but they broke off their engagement, but didn't tell their friends. They had to go on a vacation with their friend group and pretend to be dating still. So there was fake dating, forced proximity. It was second chance, and I really loved this book. It was heartbreaking, but so cute at the same time. This book also has dual timelines, so past and current. This was the second book I read from Emily Henry, and I really loved it. I'm currently obsessed with her writing, so I also bought People We Meet on Vacation. I rated 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed the friendship in this book. Like the friend group was adorable and Wynne and Harriet were so cute together but it kind of annoyed me that they just didn't communicate. I love how she talks about mental health in her books. She really depicts it well and she shows the struggles of mental health. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this book for some reason. Like some people didn't like it but I loved it so 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed every single book I read in May and I'm very happy about that. So hopefully in June I have a good reading month. Let me get the books that I want to read in June. Okay, so in June I definitely want to read It's Not Summer Without You. It's the second book in the series of It's Always Sunny, oh my god, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. What am I even saying? It's the second book in the series, The Summer I Turned Pretty. I definitely want to read Ellen Hildebrand. I heard this is so good, The Hotel Nantucket. I have three of her books and I haven't read them yet, but I definitely want to read them this summer. I think this is supposed to be like a mystery, like ghost vibe. I don't know, but I'm very excited to read it. Then I've been wanting to read this for a while. I've had it in my room for like a year. I heard this is pretty good. It's just like a rom-com. This book is cute and like easy to read. So I'm gonna try to aim to read this this month, but I'm not sure. I also want to read Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I never read her books, but I heard a lot of people love her. Um, I have no idea what this is about, but I heard it's summer vibes and it's very good. So I'm gonna read it. Hopefully this month, maybe next month, who knows. I don't want to force myself to read anything because then I'm gonna go into a book slump and I don't want that to happen. And then I want to read some books on my Kindle. I'm trying not to buy a lot of physical books if they're on Kindle Unlimited because I'm trying to save some money. Um, books are kind of expensive now, so I either am trying to go on Pango Books to buy like used books or go on Kindle Unlimited. I want to try to read Elsie Silver. Um, I never read any of her books, but she's trending right now and I'm very excited to read her books. Um, they're like a cowboy romance. I really want to read them. Um, I heard they're so amazing, so I can't wait to read those. I'm definitely going to read at least one this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was my first book video on YouTube. I post full book reviews and book recommendations on my Lemon 8, so don't forget to follow me on there. And I also post about books on my TikTok. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!